Well, President Trump is facing backlash tonight over a tweet criticizing California's governor and the state's sanctuary policy. He tweeted this, quote, so many sanctuary areas that want out of this ridiculous, crime-infested and breeding concept, which led one political analyst to call him a racist, saying, taken literally, the most likely explanation is that he's talking about sanctuary cities as places where undocumented immigrants breed. If that's right, there's a racial undertone in that comment should slap you in the face. Well, tonight's panel, and they will not be slapping each other in the face, Fox News contributor and syndicated radio talk show host Leslie Marshall, WMAL radio host Larry O'Connor, who's also associate opinion editor at The Washington Times, and Kurt Schlichter, a senior columnist at townhall.com. See, they're in separate studios, so there'll be no physical altercations. This Great time. to see all of you tonight. This, <laughs> this time. time. Okay, so I want to start with something us. the ACLU had to say about this breeding concept thing that the president tweeted about. He said, no matter how loud the dog whistles, remember that border crossings are near an all-time low. Border communities are already militarized, and deploying troops for a manufacturer crisis is beyond wasteful. Also, at real Donald Trump, these are human beings, not a breeding concept. Kurt, first to you. Oh, this is just nonsense, Shannon. I'm getting so sick of these people trying to dodge the real issues with baloney about racism. That's all they do. Because here's the problem. A bunch of people who should not be in our country are in our country. I'm in California right now. Our infrastructure is teetering. It's on the edge of collapse. Our schools are a disaster. Our hospital waiting rooms are full. And American citizens are being killed by drunk drivers and by illegal alien criminals. But they don't want to talk about that, Shannon. They want to lie. They want to make up more of this racist baloney that they've always tried to pull. But you know what, Shannon? It doesn't work anymore. The truth is out there. It's in front of us. Californians are getting woke. You can see that as people are uh, uh, city after cities rejecting sanctuary cities. Well, that's and true. They are doing that. It's great to see. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what's going on in California. Uh, Chuck DeVore, who used to be a state legislator there, who now lives in Texas because he couldn't take it anymore, <laughs> talks about crushing taxes, the homelessness, the growing poverty rate, uh, the net 100,000 people leaving every year, uh, massive unfunded pension liabilities, and then adds this. California isn't the future. Rather, it's what America's 2016 election of Donald Trump saved the nation from becoming. It's not a harbinger of things to come, but it will soon be an example of the fate we narrowly avoided. Now, now to our other Californian, Leslie Marshall, to weigh in. Wow, I don't even know where to go with this because it's interesting. When you present a glass as half empty, you forget to look at the other half, which is half full. In the state of California, you forget to look at how many people are coming after other people leave. You also, I mean, there's another reason we need more and more housing throughout the entire state as we have more and more people. Just look at Silicon Valley and the people there importing not just here, but from other countries who have uh, specialized uh, computer skills. Uh, I want to go to Kurt, who you don't, you don't want to look at the facts. The facts are that let's like say San Diego that doesn't want to be a sanctuary city they have the lowest crime rate that they've had in 49 years the majority of crimes in this state and the country are committed not by uh, Im immigrants who have come here illegally they are by people born bred and raised here and speaking of breeding so Shannon animals breed people don't breed and this is a very racist term it was used uh, in Eastern Europe uh, toward the Jews it was used in China China before the oh, one child Jesus. policy. It's been used toward Italians and Irish that are Catholic and with the exception of Chinese, I am all three of the other. Okay, let's bring Larry in here to this conversation. What do you make of the remark? Was it too much? Is the tweet being taken out of context or is that a, a proper assessment? Leslie, uh, is of where it is. Listen, if I had a dollar for every tweet the president put out where he uses language that I wouldn't use, I'd be as rich as the president. The fact is, I'm with Kurt Schlichter on this. Kurt and I, I think, have experienced quite a bit over the last several years. And one thing we've learned is when the left is losing an argument, they call you a racist. And they are losing this argument. 59% of Californians are with the president on these deportations. Leslie has a lot of numbers and a lot of facts, but there's one fact that she's not avoid uh, that she's avoiding here, and that is this: these people come to the country illegally or stay in this country illegally. That's the first infraction. The second, if they're working here, then they continue to break the law because they're not supposed to be working here. And thirdly, if they are in police custody asking for sanctuary from federal officials, it means they've broken the law a third time. And the American people understand this: that they're breaking the law. They continue to break the law. They don't deserve the honor of being in this country. And if they want to national, the Democrats want to nationalize this issue and not make it just about California, but make this all about the 2018 midterm elections. I'm 
absolutely okay. thrilled with that. I, I mean, they tried to do that last time, and isn't President Hillary Clinton doing a great job? Okay, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> let me just ask you quickly, Eddie, a yes or no, just from each of you, because you mentioned the, the issue of employment. Are you for or against E-Verify, in which employers would bear the punishment absolutely. if they're employing people? Um, Kurt? Oh, yes. Yes, 100%. 100, 100 oh, yes, absolutely. 100%. Leslie, as a law-abiding citizen, how are you feeling about that? Absolutely. Don't just punish the, 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 the bunny for going to the carrot that's dangling. Punish those who are Look holding that. out that carrot, which are these employers okay. and these corporations. All I can't right, believe so we, we all agree on this. end on a moment of agreement. We'll mm -hmm. be singing Kumbaya during the commercial. Yes, none of us want to punish bunnies. <laughs> Leslie, Larry, and Kurt, always great to see you guys. Thank I you. Do. <laughs> oh, no. He does.